everyone. Welcome to our channel. Sorry, I'm losing my mind. You found me in my ethnic corner. And I'm here with a real talk, a video for our real talk series because let me tell you, real talk, life is getting busy. I'm sure that everyone's schedules get busy at some points. So I'm gonna give you some tips that have helped me when I'm feeling overwhelmed. The first thing is obviously a planner. That's not, that's kind of just, you know, it's a given. You can have little stickers in it that remind you to do things. It just makes you excited to plan your life. If you're not like a naturally organized person, it might motivate you. The planners with little quotes on it. Make each day your masterpiece. It's a little cheesy, but you know, whatever you need to get through your life. This particular planner also comes with like goals for the month, a to-do list section and things like that. So I really, really like this one. So get yourself a good planner to make you excited about being organized. Tip number two would probably be make a little second to-do list of just three things so that you can feel good about your life. And I use this at work a lot. I will go into work and then look at my list of things to do. And it can be really overwhelming to look at a list of like 20 things to do. So I usually get another sheet of paper. <laughs> I probably have killed so many trees because of my list and write the top three things I shouldn't leave work without doing or else it's bad. Like they're really urgent or time sensitive things so that I can feel good at the end of the day. If those are the only three things I did that day, at least I completed like what I had to do with my day because you can't always predict what your day will end up being like or what phone call you'll receive or you know, anything. Tip number three is balancing which is difficult to do. You have to figure out how to balance a work life, a social life, your friends, your family, hobbies. Slip in a boyfriend somewhere in there. Slip in a boyfriend if you have one. Single ladies, slip in some time to, you know, scroll the dating apps or think about that you're single. <laughs> Read about being single. Go to BuzzFeed and read posts about being single. You know, there's a lot of things in your brain. And then, you know, keep keep up to date on social media. And plan your future. If you're a millennial, I'm sure many of you are doing that right now. Trying to figure out what you want to do next. So, that's why you need balance. You can make little categories for your life, like little circles. And inside the circle, you could be like, okay, what do I want to work on within this realm? And then plan out your week if that works a little better for you. Like, oh, every Monday, I'm going to work on my physical fitness. So I'm going to go to the gym every Monday. And then every Tuesday, I'm going to work on applications for grad school. Or every Wednesday, I'm going to work on this or that. And so you can kind of compartmentalize your life so that at the end of a week, you don't feel like you're missing one part of your life. Last thing, if you're ever feeling overwhelmed, you gotta look at your the list of things that you have to do and be like, are any of these things actually helping me? And see if you can eliminate some of the things. And then also see if, if five years from now these things will matter for you. And if they don't, you should just try to cut things out so you can get to the things that matter. Thanks for watching my real talk. If you have any other tips on how to stay productive on a busy schedule, let me know because it could help me selfishly or you could help so many other people who watch our videos Emily bye thank you so much mm. you know have a good time balance it somehow